he was stopped in traffic on China Lake Boulevard when defendant operating a tractor double trailer loaded with 50,000 pounds of bicarbonate failed to slow down and stop, crashing into the rear end of the pickup truck Zendel was operating. This was a major multi-car crash with a force so violent that Zendel's pickup truck was ejected forward into the rear end of the stopped van ahead of him. Zendel's vehicle careened off and across the lanes of traffic out of control, up and over the cement center median of the roadway and all the way across the street onto opposing traffic lanes, coming to a halt at the curb. The accident caused severe injuries to Mr. Depu. He suffered from multiple injuries to his cervical spine that included C5, C6, and C6, C7 disc herniations, posterior longitudinal ligament tears, and stenosis. Mr. Depu required the complex surgery called an anterior discectomy and fusion of C5, C6, and C6, C7 vertebral discs in order to treat the pain. The surgery began with an incision across the neck. Blunt dissection is carried out until the vertebral bodies and corresponding discs are visualized. A C5, C6, and C6, C7 discectomy is performed using a curette and kerosene rongeurs to remove the discs. A drill is used on the vertebral end plates for a partial verbrectomy in order to prepare for the hardware to be inserted. The tear in the posterior longitudinal ligament is removed using a 1B curette. Nuvasive peak interbody cages are packed with allograft and placed into the C5, C6 and C6, C7 disc spaces. Three screws are placed for each nuvasive peak interbody cage for a total of six screws. Finally, the incision is closed and sutured. The recovery process from this procedure will be slow and painful. Mr. Neck and back will never have the same physical agility ever again.